Hello everyone, welcome to another video. And today I want to show you my script for pipe hangers. And I did make this script a long time ago. But before I show you my script, let's just for a moment see what I have here. This is my two minutes sample project in order to test this script. But the most important thing for this script are this change of directions when you have pipes that follow some angle. And except that I also have some change of outside diameter. Uh, here we have, I think, 45 degree angle. Yeah, here and here. And here we have almost 70 degree angle. So if we are looking for the floor plan, we have, let's say, this horizontal direction of the pipes. Then we have angle, vertical part, again, horizontal and some angles. Uh, here I did add uh, pipe insulation and at the end we have also change of direction angle is almost 45 degrees and also beside all of that starting from here we have slope down and here we have slope up so basically my script need to cover all those changes and also I want to give a freedom to users to choose what will be the limit for the hangers and you just need to type some elevation and that can be elevation of the level or structural beam or some other element and now I will run my script so here we have standard user interface I did wrote this warning here because sometimes when I use this translate uh, position of hanger sometimes I don't know why but script makes some random uh, rotation of the hangers so you can try using this option and just see if everything is okay Okay, now we need to select elements. Uh, you can select any type of elements, any category, and the script will automatically take just pipes. Here is the question, what will be the host? Which elevation? I will say 5000. What will be the spacing between the hangers? I want to put 1.5 meters. I need to select my family, pipe hanger. And I will try to use this translate option and run the script. So first of all, let's see if that elevation is correct. Yeah, all hangers go to that 5000 elevation. And note that here we have change of the pipe height. So even when, you, when you're using slope, everything will go just to the elevation which you enter um, before. And now if we take a look at our straight sections, our pipe hanger automatically adjusts outside diameter according to our pipe. Everything is okay. So here when we have 45 degrees uh, direction, everything is still okay. Here also. And also here you can see that hanger automatically adjusts not just the size of the pipe but also thickness of the pipe insulation. And at the end again we have some reduction and change of uh, pipe direction. Everything is okay. So also if we take a look pipe slopes it seems that everything is okay. And this pipe hanger successfully follow our, our slope. Now, before we go to the script, I want to show you uh, one thing. For the moment, if I delete these hangers and I turn off my script in order to run the script again, I did so other YouTube videos regarding the pipe hangers and I didn't find any video which actually explain how to build the script which will follow pipes in, in situation when you have some angles. So all videos that I find are actual explanation how to build a hanger when you have straight pipe direction. Now I want to show you one thing. So if I create this pipe and the important thing to notice is you will have different results if you are modeling this pipe from this point to this point or if you're modeling exact the same pipe but from other direction. I will run my script again to show you. So now before I run my script, if I just delete this last group of nodes here, which refine the position of the hangers and run my script, and I will use the same values as I did use before.
you can see here i think that this pipe we did a model from this point to this point and uh, this pipe we did model uh, so the starting point is here and end point is here and if you don't build your script in a way that you cover all possible situation because even if you model all installations in your project you will not know from which point you did model some pipe so you need to build the script in a way that you can cover all of these situations so even if you look here a couple of seconds ago we did run the script and everything was okay so we didn't have this problem here probably we did have this situation that we start here and end here here also we can see that this angle of the hanger is not correct let's now again run my script but we will undo that change that we made so we have this last node here and now if you take a look everything is okay this is the reason why we did buy all those add-ins for the Revit which did place uh, those pipe hangers for us but now when we need to use Dynamo we can create the script and this problem with the angles is more mathematical problem than problem of uh, visual programming so when you sit down and uh, resolve this problem like i did on paper uh, after that it is very easy to create the script now let's go to script and this script is a bit complex and i will try to explain this script as best as i can but if you have any question feel free to contact me so as usual we will start with the input zone so we have our inputs we will pass all those inputs to the multiple input form uh, nothing strange here uh, the only thing which is special here is this python node and basically uh, this python node gives us a list of the families which we have in the project so we can pick the family which we want to use for that pipe hanger everything else is pretty basic and we did cover that in the previous videos and from this point we need to start reading all those inputs the first input we will read up here and this entire group of nodes will basically just filter elements in a way that the only element which needs to be here and which we need to pass to other nodes are only pipes so if you did select ducts, pipes, pipe accessories or anything else, everything else will be in this out list. And in this in part of the filter will be just pipes. I want to read all slope values that I have for my pipes. And if I detect that I have a slope value which is greater than 59 degrees, I will consider that pipe to be vertical pipe and I will not place hanger on that pipe so that is why I created this logical term and uh, I will have filter here of course because my maximal slope here is four degrees I will have uh, empty list here in the filter and I will pass to other nodes uh, entire list of the pipes I will again pass all elements that I have in a project and I want to create a vector so I will basically detect starting point of my pipe and end point of my pipe and I want to create that vector by using two points I will pass this vector to this group of nodes here I have a vector for all pipes but in case that I have uh, pipes with slope greater than 59 degrees I will exclude those pipes that is why I have this filter here so now I want to compare my vector with x vector x axis vector and uh, the output from this comparison will be angle I will round that angle and I want initially to rotate all hangers in my project by 90 degrees so i did increase my angle by 90 degrees and now i will rotate all pipe hangers how did i receive pipe hangers let's go here so before i created pipe hangers again 
I needed to be sure that slope is uh, less than 59 degrees. If it is, it will come here. Here I will use special uh, clockwork node in order to convert actually my pipes into curves. From that point, I want to know uh, the length of my pipe. So if the length of my pipe is almost eight meters, and I told my script that I want to split uh, that pipe and to create hangers at every one and a half meter. So I need to know uh, how many hangers I will have, and that I will determine uh, with this node. After that, now when I know uh, how many hangers I will have, I need to split that curve. And now when I know all the points on that curve, I will pass that to this node. Uh, I already asked the user which family he wants to use. He told me he wants to use pipe hanger. Now I know the points on each pipe and I can create all elements, all pipe hangers. That is okay. And we said later, we, we will rotate initially all pipe, pipe hangers by 90 degrees with this value here. But before we continue, let's see what we skip. We did read uh, the diameter of all pipes. We know that here. And also we did read insulation thickness. And we have only one pipe which use insulation and the thickness of that insulation is 25 millimeters. Uh, because you will have thickness on both sides. I did multiply that by two. And now I know uh, the outside diameter for my pipe hanger. And I will pass all those values, my pipe hanger, inside my family. I will show you if we took any hanger and added family. We have this parameter outside pipe diameter. And when we know the value for this parameter, we will set that new parameter. And also we will need to set this parameter to tell our pipe hanger where this anchor needs to stop. So we did set diameter, we did set this elevation and how we did set this elevation, it's pretty simple. So we did know a Z coordinate for each point on each pipe and we can read that here. So even when we use slope, we know exactly what will be the height on that point. And now we just need to calculate our angle needs to stop at 5000, our actual height is that value, so we know exactly uh, what will be the difference between those two values. And we just pass that to our parameter. And, and of course here we're just reading one by one input. And here, So, okay, I did optimize a little bit this script. I don't know why I use that complicated way, but if I pass keys and values to the drop-down data, as you know from our previous videos, you will immediately have the family type. So we don't need any extra nodes. And before that, I did uh, just want to tell you that from this uh, part here, you just need to read all the inputs. And we did cover this area here and this area here. So uh, now uh, the thing is, uh, initially you will set some rotation and you will have some initial rotation of 
uh, those hangers and I did show you what what is the case when you kill some group of nodes but when you know that you need to refine the rotation for some problematic pipe directions you simply will need to use uh, some logic like this so first of all you want to eliminate all straight pipes all pipes which have either horizontal or vertical uh, direction looking from a floor plan so when i say horizontal and vertical i actually mean i actually mean on those situations this is a horizontal this is a vertical and at the end you can see that we have only two pipes which are actually parallel to x or y so we will consider those elements to be okay and we will proceed on with elements which are not parallel to these two axes and here we will isolate all elements for which we consider that uh, rotation is not correct so at the end we will have six elements and for those six elements we will have one more additional group of nodes and at the end we will use that final block which I did kill a couple of minutes ago and you did see that the rotation of the elements was incorrect for some elements. For the pipes which we received from previous group we want to know start and end point and from there we want to split that point to uh, their x and y coordinates after that we want to determine uh, to which quadrant that uh, pipe belongs and we did establish earlier that basically the exact same pipe if you model from this way to this it will have a problems but if you uh, start modeling from this way and go here it will you will not have a problem and what is the what is the problem here so if we say that for this pipe this is a starting point and for this pipe this is a starting point the length is the same direction is the same basically but if you take a look uh, this pipe uh, will belong to this first quadrant but uh, this pipe will belong to this third quadrant and by using try and error I did uh, establish that for some quadrants you will need to refine that rotation of the hangers but for some other quadrants you will not need to do that so that is why I create this entire entire logic here uh, if you follow everything correctly you, you will have good results if you have some easier way to resolve this issue with the angles please let me know so after you check the quadrant and again perform a small filter to see for which pipes you need to refine that rotation you will now need to compare the angles between the pipes and hangers to calculate the difference the only special thing is here and uh, you actually don't need to use uh, this node you can use whatever you like uh, this node basically just do the following thing so when this node detect value of one this list it will uh, remember the index uh, where did he find that uh, one for a value and it will append only those indexes and as i say you can use other nodes and other logic to perform the same thing once again this is the code okay and when you find that difference in the angles you will just need to replace those values and after you refine and after you refine uh, those values everything should be okay that's it again if you have any questions uh, regarding this script feel free to contact me thanks for watching bye